That's Definitely. not the game that they're looking for. They want to get ahead. They want to hammer the ball. They want to run behind this guy right here in George Kittle. Oh, and start getting him going hey, to the catch and run. Hey, what did I tell you, Rodney? Hey, what, what did you tell him? Because you came over right before the game. What were you what guys talking I, about? What did I tell him? I can't hear anybody, but uh, yeah, I said so violence. That's what was the key to the victory. Um, what did we run the ball, 40 times? A whole Got lot. <laughs> uh, that's what you want to see in Niner football, baby. Talk about Elijah Mitchell, man, coming in, giving y'all a spark. And he's missed a lot of time, but he came in, he run, ran the ball very physically. I mean, he runs downhill. He, runs he downhill, trains. He, downhill, and he hits the gaps. He sets up his blockers really well. And he always makes something out of nothing, too. Like, he, he got hit in the back row multiple times, and all of a sudden he's 12 yards downfield. He's a hell of a running back. You know, the thing I love about you is you don't give a damn about stats or anything like that. You had, what do you have, one catch? One catch. One catch. What? How many yards? Was it 24 or something? 21. It's 20 yards. That was on a chip basic, too. You don't see those very often. Yeah, here we we're going to show you right yeah, here, yeah. dog. Let's oh, it. yeah. Get, get Oh, yeah. What a ball. Yep. Oh. Come on. Look yeah. at this, though. Yeah. Here it is. Do it again. But, George, I got to ask you, do you ever go to Jimmy and say, hey, man, get me the ball. This guy can't stick me. Oh, I'm open every play. I tell him that every time. Even <laughs> yeah. if I'm blocking, I'm still open, man. <laughs> Jimmy, just throw me the ball. I don't care when and where. I'll be there. Hey, what goes through your mind after you catch the football? And you start running with it. it. It looks, back to that original word, it looks pretty damn violent from where I'm sitting. And that's what we're going for, man. Violence. We got Debo, Ayuk, Elijah Mitchell, Christian McCaffrey, Kyle Juszczyk, George Kittle. We got guys that want to be violent. We have the best quarterback in the history of the NFL at QB Sneaks. There's no one better. <laughs> no one better. Violent runner. So, like, everybody that touches the ball wants to be violent, and, you know, it's just infectious for our whole team. What, it about, what is it about Kyle Shanahan's offense that, that you like? I mean, I love outside zone. I like it when you put it in, whether it's Christian, Elijah, or Debo's hands, those outside zones. I feel you can really take advantage of, you know, guys that aren't Khalil Mack. So if we run a wave from him, just opens it up. And, you know, hopefully we get back into some play action stuff. It's hard to do that versus the 3-4 D guys, but we'll get back into it. What do you feel like the Chargers game plan was defensively trying to stop you guys? Oh, blitz the heck out of us, try to get us mistargeted. That's the one thing I think we struggle with the most this year is, like, we – Guys getting a dime, guys getting a big nickel, and then we kind of get mistargeted sometimes. I thought Derwin played a hell of a game. He was blitzing all the, all night trying to get in there. Um, I think it was just trying to mess us up. But uh, ultimately, our defense played at a very high level, and we clicked when we needed to click, and that's how we got the dub. What did you guys look to change in that second half? Because it did look like things were moving a little faster in that second half offensively. Yeah, I mean, definitely. We got our tempo up, and... I mean, honestly, we just stopped shooting ourselves in the foot. Let's yeah. just be honest. Yeah. Our first half wasn't very pretty besides the, the three points. Uh, we had one good drive out and that. We were three and out. Weren't clicking very well. I know we had a couple of MAs probably. So uh, that second half, I think everyone just refocused, and we're a good football team. We didn't show that very well in the first half, but the second half we came out there, defense, special teams, offense, we all played at a high level, and that's what got us to win. What does it say about Brandon Ayuk? He had a fumble. He had a drop touchdown. Yeah. And for him to come back and make the plays that he made, in the crucial moments of the game. It one. says a lot about that young man. It does. I mean, and that's that's us putting more and more pressure on him at practice every single game, especially uh, two weeks ago when Debo was out. We needed Ayuk to have a big game, and he did against the Rams. And we just keep putting pressure on him, and he just he's resilient. And uh, another thing we were talking about, you know, don't let things snowball. It is what it is. You're a great football player. Just make the next play. We know you can do it. I got to ask you, man, tell him Noah Hufunga, man. This, this dude is guy. playing on an all-pro level. This is my guy. I know you go up against him in practice. I what him what is it about him that makes him really good as a young player? I think the biggest thing is his work ethic. He's the first guy on the, on the field every single day. It's one thing that he told me him and uh, Troy talk about. He's always the first on the field. He's always watching extra tape. He's always studying. He wants to be great. And if you want to be great and you do all that extra stuff, you have a chance to be great. And that's what he's proven this season. Hey, hey walk me through the process of getting Christian McCaffrey to this team. When did you first hear that this may be a possibility and how did it play out? Twitter. I was playing. I was playing video games. All of a sudden, my buddies was like, hey, you guys just traded for Christian McCaffrey. I was like, well, that's nice. And then Debo said he knew like three <laughs> days in advance. I was like, well, Debo, you got to spill the details once in a while. <laughs> he man. didn't tell you? Yeah, he was like, we well, just got to ask him. Like, how am I supposed to know to ask you that question, dude? What's he doing? Texting Schefter? Did, did Lynch tell him? I don't know. He was probably organizing the trade himself. Honestly, it's <laughs> <Yeah>. Debo. <laughs> what is it about Debo, too? Because he's like you in terms of this offense. It's yak, man. It's oh, yeah. yards after the catch. Well, Debo, what defines his game? I'll tell you this. In today's NFL and the defense, there's a lot of penalties for hits. A lot of guys, there's not a lot of physical players on defense anymore, especially the safety corner position. So guys take a lot of creative angles. Guys don't hit like they used to. So if you just put your head down, guys are going to avoid contact. Um, I just, I know for a fact that we've gone against a couple teams that aren't the most physical at safety corners. And so we just try to run through them and make them tackle us. And usually takes two or three guys. Last question for me. What about um, Dre Greenlaw? 
There's no way. He yeah, he, he, he shouldn't have got kicked out of I there. agree. I don't think he should have gotten kicked out. I love you guys. You're incredible. <laughs> Trey's a fantastic football player. He'll be back fast, angry, physical, violent. Um, How know, does this feel, though? How uh, does this feel? They show hey, you hey, up, dog. Another game, baby. <laughs> Let's go, Niner! <laughs> They're fantastic. <laughs> you, got, you got your family right over here, oh, too? They're fantastic. Oh. Hey, guys. <laughs> Hi, Chargers fans. <laughs> I'll take it down here. That's hey. crazy. Ladies and gentlemen. Hey, thanks for having me out here, guys. The great George Kittle. Oh, great. Appreciate you coming out here, no. man. Let you get on with the celebration. Way to get it done. You're a good man, bro. Yes, sir. Appreciate you see. coming out. He's always such a great interview. I love his intensity. I would love to play with this guy. He is. He's got, he's got a little of that WWE in him, doesn't he? He's got a little bit of that in his soul, and you hear it come out. He, he feeds off of this type of book.